Hey guys, welcome back to Just For Fun. This is Matt. We're getting ready to jump into another Eternal Masters draft. Uh, it's going to be our second recorded and our second overall. So certainly not claiming to be an expert at this, nor do I care because here we play Just For Fun. If you're looking for somebody who's super competitive and you want to see like the best way to draft this format, probably should look elsewhere. If you're willing to see somebody go to pretty much totally blind into a format and, um, you know, guess at things and do their best and maybe have a few laughs along the way, then you're in the right place. So, um, the last time, the first time we drafted, we did blue white flyers. Our deck was pretty strong, honestly. And, um, there were some deck building errors that I found kind of ruined my game ones, so I'll have to be more selective in what makes the final cut, because the format is so deep, um, the card power level is really, really high, so we gotta be um, more selective in our build than we would be with just a regular kind of draft format. Um, as you can see from the background, there's boxes and crap everywhere. I am moving house, so I haven't had as much time to do this as usual, so sorry about the delay in between postings. I'll try to keep it up to at least two uh, sets a week if I can. I did, uh, spoiler alert, uh, make some nice modern decks uh, this morning, so, or yeah, this morning, I guess uh, after midnight is this morning, so really late last night, <laughs> slash early this morning, and uh, they're going to be fun. They're going to be a lot of fun, so I've been playing them um, in the Just For Fun room. I didn't build sideboards yet, so I'm going to try maybe to do that before I um, start recording with those. We'll see. We'll see if we want a sideboard or not. I don't generally sideboard because a just for fun room you never know what to expect so it's not like there's a set metagame you can plan for and b if we're playing just for fun who really cares do we really need to go that deep on it i don't know um so we still need three people for this draft to uh spawn so i'm just gonna pause for a second okay our draft is starting up I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we opened Sylvan Library, which is a really powerful card. Um, I'm not sure there's any much we can do to build around it. I know the green deck, there's a couple green decks which are like Elves, Enchantress. Um, oh, I guess, in, you know, it could be good. Ooh, that's pretty good. Four mana, five, five. Big drawback. This seems good. This seems like we could wheel, wheel that. Is there anything else? That's a pretty powerful effect, but to go two colors off the bat. Um, pacifism is really good, too. Really, really good. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here is maybe try to do the enchantment deck. We'll see. i um, going to take Sylvan Library, stay kind of open, but... Strong preference to green, and if we wheel um, Blossoming Sands or Enchantress or Roots from this pack, you know, that'll, we, we won't yield, pa wield, wield the pacifism. Ha worst Honden. Um, Seal of Strength is pretty good. Sentinel Spider, I think, is probably underrated. Um, That's cool. Never seen that before. That seems like just a pretty strong card. Enemy Dead is a really strong card. Um, I'm going to take this unexpectedly absent. Um, a, It's the rare. B, it's instant speed removal. Um, C, green and white go well together. Um, well, Harmonize is pretty good. Um... And Roots is kind of like a halfway decent removal spell. I guess I'm going to take Harmonize. Okay. Um, Monk Idealist and Yavamaya Enchantress. Both cards I would want in this kind of deck. Um, I guess I'll take the Idealist. 
represents a two for one. Right, this is basically Oromancer with cooler art and different name. Poof, where'd you go? He was supposed to be here, but now he ain't. Do you think they could reprint this in standard? What do you think? Do you think it would like dominate the for format and be broken? I don't think so. Armadillo cloak. That's we're rewarded here. That's a very strong aura. Okay, so now we just need some more uh, uh, dudes, really. Um. Yep. This card is busted. This is very strong. This is really strong. Don't laugh. It works. <laughs> um. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Do you think they could print this in standard? I I would vote for yes, I think they could. But like it would be it would be a top tier card, but it would not be broken where it bends the format around it. It would certainly be in, you know, whatever the best white deck in the format. Alright. Okay, first they were going fast, now they started going slow again. Thugnificent, that's cute. Zoma, Vader, oh god. Oh. Psy Cow, that's cute too. Um, I don't really want... I mean, I guess this is a two-drop creature. I don't know how many elves we're going to end up with. Second thoughts is removal. It's not optimal though. Um, I'm gonna take this guy. I'm not sure how good he is, but we'll see what we end up with. Uh, there's a chance. There's a chance I play that. I don't know. It is a four mana five five. But um, we have to keep other stuff in place. So maybe make sure we pick up like a raise the alarm or two and some other like token maker stuff. Alright, it looks like we might get there at least on the deck idea. The two pe people passing to us are so slow. This guy's got 10 already and these two dopes are way behind. Um, Elephant Guide is very strong. Squadron Hawk could be really good in this kind of deck. Uh, another Monk Idealist could be good too. Um, hmm. I'll take the Guide. Possibly should have picked, uh, what's it called there? Wow, a lot of good choices here. Blossoming Sands. I'm going to take the Enchantress, I guess. Okay, going to take Raise the Alarm. I know Seal of Strength was there, and that's pretty good, but I'd rather... Okay, here we can take the Roots. Enchantress. Well, we're kind of getting there. We're we're a bit three drop heavy here. So I think Llanowar Elves is in this, or I think I saw something like that. That would be a great pick. Commune. Okay, okay. might might play a commune. Benevolent bodyguard. Probably not, but possible. Okay, we only have one off color card, so we did really well cutting off our strategy pretty much. Glare of Subduel. Yeah. Um, I would love love to take this Mistral Charger, but on color, on colors rare. Uh, Foil Hydra Blast. Jeez. Uh, Nimble Mongoose. Um, that's cool. We don't really have a good way to enable it. 
Where bear could be good. I'm gonna take a squadron hawk here. Hopefully we get some more of them. Even if we only get one other squadron hawk, I still think that's worthwhile. And if we get two, it's, it becomes great. They make our crocodile better. They make all our enchantments better. They make our Glarus Abdul better. So this is like a maybe, probably not kind of deal. This is kind of a maybe, but it could be pretty good in the deck. Do I want another monk idealist? Or do I want to... I don't really want a winter orb. Do I want to hate a nature's claim? I can play a second one of those. I thought I had three for some reason. Yeah, I, like I don't think I want a third, but... Oh god, I this card uh this card beat the crap out of me. Um Rift Watcher doesn't really go that well with what we're doing. Seal of cleansing, seal of strength. Pyroblast is something I'd like to have just for my collection, but they'll probably go down in value now. Um I'm just gonna cut this because I just don't want to lose to it again. Um Huntmaster, another elephant guide, intangible virtue. We only have really the one token spell so far. Yeah, alright. I'm in. Uh, we could play this just as a grizzly bear. Or we could play werebear. Which helps us cast our four drops and stuff. Um... Could play Pilgrim's Eye. The, now's the point. I probably want to take one of the second thoughts just to have one more. Ooh. Yeah. Spider is big game. I like that spider. As I said in the first draft, this is basically Sarah Angel. <laughs> it trades evasion for defense, I guess, but at common. It's still a really powerful card. 4-4 four, four, Vigilance. Um, take a Sylvan Might. At this point, we basically have a deck. We just need maybe need to improve a few picks here and there. Like, these are maybes. Uh, oop. That's a maybe. Uh, that's a maybe. Depending on what else we pick up. Alright, I'm going to take one of these. I don't think it goes in my deck necessarily, but I'd like to have it. That's good enough reason. Um, okay, we can take a Nature's Claim for the sideboard. I'm scratching my foot with my other foot. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, there's a there's a situation where I play Seal of Strength. Mm, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> going into pack three, having twenty three, you know, playables. Ooh, Xanted Swarm. Um, not really a good, um, uh, what's it called? Limited card. God, what a pack. Young Pyro, double Eye Blights ending. Um, so I think I'm going to take this Cabal Therapy for my collection. So there's that. Yeah, going to do that. Rancor. Rancor is good. Ooh, Lanowar Elves is great too. Firebolt. Man, um, Thornwield Archer could be good too. I'm going to take this Rancor. And I'm going to cut Seal of 
strength, I guess. I mean, I can sack it and then get it back with the idealist, so that's kind of cool. I'd, I'd like at least three more creatures. Uh, honor Guard is kind of a cool idea, I guess. Ooh. I like me a Karmic Guide. Um, Elite Vanguard kind of does a lot in the deck. Wayfinder is good. War Priest is good against me. Kind of just a decent two drop. I think I'll take that. Okay. Knight's Whisper, I'd like to have those for my collection too. I'm gonna take an Elite Vanguard and then cut a Bodyguard. I mean, and we have some sideboard options, so that's cool. Glad I picked this up. Definitely a card I need four of as I start building toward Legacy. Icarid. Um, Pilgrim's Eye really doing anything in my deck? I don't think so. I could take another Roots here. Another Vanguard. Blossoming Sands. Could just rare draft the Icarid. Um, I'm going to take a second Vanguard. Rift Watcher and White Main Lion kind of go against what I'm trying to do. Take a Brainstorm. Oh, there's another Werebear. Not that I'm likely to get Threshold, but oh. I only ended up with one Squadron Hawk, so maybe we cut that. Raise the alarm. Ooh, and Archer. Yeah, I, I don't mind this. Enchantress, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I want three of those. Hookmaster is good. Maybe this crocodile is really bad. Warren Power Stone. Is this a Warren Power Stone deck? It's not really. Oh god, another Vanguard, huh? So I guess I could like board into white weenie aggro. The curve is kind of troubling right now if I keep these one drops in. Ooh, that was great. Um, so we need to cut one card, which is not going to be that. This 
this could be really strong. I mean, I don't have that many creatures, but so it's not quite opposition. But maybe I can tap down a couple things and then attack with a big fatty. Um... Is this guy too bad? With the... I only have a few creatures. Maybe I don't need this. Maybe I don't need a pump spell with all the auras, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see how the green-white enchantments enchantments deck does. Enchantment! 